Today on Advanced Search, we're talking to Sonia Gill, creator and star of Sonia's Travels, a YouTube channel with more than 600,000 video views. Sonia, who recently won a Webby Award for Best Web Personality, is known for travel videos that take you away from the tourist traps and closer to the pulse of the city. We sat down with her to talk about the importance of YouTube collaborations, the international power of Twitter, and how easy it is to get good-looking Parisians to strike a pose. Sonia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So tell us how you started on YouTube. How did it come to be that in a year you have 12,000 people subscribing? So a, a couple of things. First of all, I started a business right out of college called Fluence. Okay. And we develop and create software to teach languages. Fluence has been around for a couple of years, so that already started some momentum. And then through um, collaborations, we came up with this concept, like, let's go to Barcelona mm -hmm. and Sonia, me, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> will show some YouTubers um, the secret code of Barcelona. Okay. So five of us went, Strawberry17, Mr. Guitar Man, Wheezy Waiter, Sorted Food, and Nikki Philippi. And then each one of them did a video. They did their thing, sort right, of on thing brand of with what they do. Channel. But right. then you were able to integrate and do, work on some collabs together. Exactly. Oh yeah, here we go. And do you learn from them also sort of the ethos and the culture of the YouTube world? I mean, it was, it was a learning experience all the way. The way Joe just magically, like he's so calm and he's just doing his thing. And then you Joe, see the mystery video. guitar man. Right, mystery mm -hmm. guitar. And then you see the video and it was brilliant. They're sharp, they know what they're doing. And I love the concept of, of focusing on small touchstones as ways to experience a city that are not, it's not about go to the Louvre, it's about put a lock on a special bridge that you know, connotes your love with somebody. How, d how did you come up with that idea? Very much as a response to what I see in mainstream media. Mm -hmm. The shows that are out there are either a lot of people eating things right. and going to different restaurants right. or showing you um, hotels and not so much like the, the vibe and the color of a place, which is yeah. what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. like, I know that if I want to find a restaurant, I can go into Google and I'll find some reviews. But right. what about like a wonderful sunset? Where, right. where should I go to hang out with people that are local and what are they doing? Mm -hmm. So it was more that. Yeah. I think you find when you live in a city or a place that attracts a lot of tourism, you come to see that tourists don't connect with the heartbeat of the city for the people who live there. And, and that's fine too. But then there's other kinds of travelers that want to you know, move around and, and see what's out there and right. kind of live it and feel it and smell it and taste it. And that's what it's about. I really love the little piece you did about the bridge in Paris or sitting facing west on the bank of the Seine and taking your shoes off. Are you focusing on cities you know very well or do you go someplace and do the research to figure out what you would like to cover? So those first cities that I went to, um, it was attached to travels that I was doing for another reason. So it was kind of like, I'm going to Paris. Okay, we're doing Paris. <laughs> I'm going to Barcelona, we're doing Barcelona. I do a lot of research, anywhere from fictional stories to history to guidebooks, just to get like a, a vibe. And then um, I start following people on Twitter. It's a great way to, to try to pick up on things to do. And how do you find who to follow on Twitter from a city? You start looking for blogs or people that are responding to things in, in say, like National Geographic. I go into there and I look at the comments and I see who's, who's in there and then I go, oh, there's someone interesting here. And then I go from there and then Twitter tells you, oh, you should maybe also follow this person and so on and so forth. And now it's a little bit easier because now I have a little bit of following and I can just ask, who can I follow in Paris? So it had to do a little bit with that and also um, with places that I speak the languages. What languages do you speak? Spanish, French, Italian, and Mandarin and English. <laughs> and I don't speak all of them the same though. I mean, I don't speak Mandarin like I speak English. But you can get by. Yes, yes, yes. 
And did you learn all these languages growing up as an international child or? I learned French um, in high school. I was interested in it and, and I, I have awesome parents. And so I, I got to spend a couple summers in Paris. And so I picked up French there. I learned English as a second language from very early on. And then I come from a family of travelers, so we've traveled a lot. And so you, you know, I go to Italy and then so you go to Italy and you want to learn Italian. These people, just the way they move, it just, uh, to me, it's mesmerizing. I just, I love it. Any other language, I want to learn them all. So Are you studying anything now? I'm studying German. Whew. I learned Mandarin, and German is hard, <laughs> really, really hard. But um, I can't put as much time into it as I wish I could. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, slowly. Hallo liebe Leute, mein Freund. es freut mich, dass ihr alle zuschaut und Berlin so. For the production of your videos, do you need permission? I mean, you're on location in all of these cities. Do you just sort of sneak your camera out and... and uh, mostly, I mean, just, just ask. Sometimes I'm, they say no, you know, you need a permit and so we don't film. But for, for the most part, since most of our stuff are on the streets, they're just public spaces. And so far, no problem. Just definitely be mindful of the other people that are there. Though. Right. And what have you found doesn't work? I mean, the cafe scenes are, I really enjoy them, but it has to be, you're just hoping something's going to happen, presumably. So well, Those now we know how to do well. How do you do them? What's so the secret? people watching, the secret is be patient. Some, some places are easier than others. Paris, really, it took us 20 minutes to do. Because you turn the camera on, and every single person that walks by is Everyone great to look at. Look every, I mean, and... it was hard to bring it down because there was so much um, to see. And the other good thing is that people in Paris love to pose, as opposed to Berlin, where we didn't do a people watching thing because nobody wants to be on the camera. Never, ever. So, really? What accounts for that cultural difference, do you think? Well, people in Berlin are very private. And I, it's, it's understandable. You know, they don't want their lives to be on YouTube. So okay. when pulling out a camera in Berlin, make sure that you ask people if it's okay. And mostly they say yes, but if you don't, they get really angry. What are you working on now? We just did a whole bunch of shootings in uh, London. Okay. So there's gonna be quite a bit of shows of London that are a lot of fun. Police hats for men are fantastic, but women must wear really ugly ones. Right now, what's important to me is, is to continue on, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, keep getting secret codes, amass a good library of pretty much as much as I can, mm -hmm. and then hopefully be the place to, to go look at travel, to get a sense of the city. That would be picture perfect. Sounds great. We'll see what happens. <laughs> do you have a hidden talent? I understand you do. I have a hidden talent that Tell will us. blow your mind. I can't wait. <laughs> Tell me. I can juggle. All right. Let's see it. <laughs> let's see it. I'm, I have to get up for that. Okay. We just happened to have these lemons here. It's really it just happened. It's amazing how that works. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Okay. Nice work. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun. If you haven't already, visit Sonia's YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the Wall Street Journal's channel. Let us know how we're doing in the comments, and thanks for watching Advanced Search. I grew up in Venezuela. So okay. Well, partly in Venezuela and partly in the U.S. Building an audience is, is not, you know, automatic.